Hello, my name is Kenneth Bud. I'm the creator of Crystal Witch Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. And today I'm going to show you the proper and professional way of setting up a home theater system that would take about nine hours up to a year in order to learn to build the frame. I'm just joking with you guys. This is Kenneth Burr from Crystal Witch Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually set up your projection screen using our Smart Technology Gain and using our Crystal Witch Technology Screen Paint. Very, very easy to use. I know there's some people on YouTube, I'm not saying any names, but they like to do these demonstrations where they want to make it sound so complicated, you know, I guess just to keep viewers on. I don't know how that works, but um, for me, it's basically showing you simple ways you can design your own projection screens using our Crystal H technology screen paint. All right, so for those of you that are going to be building your frame for the first time and you're feeling this is a little overwhelming, you're thinking, I'm not good with tools, I'm not an excellent painter, you don't have to be any of those. Trust me, it's that easy. All right, so this is the screen we're painting. Oh, just to add real quick, if you checked out my last demonstration, I'll post it at the bottom of the video demonstration. You will see that uh, the, me painting this screen right here in no time at all. So you're going to love that demonstration. But we're going to do it again right here in case you missed it. All right, so... Um, your first time building your very own projection screen. Now, let's see. We're going to flip this over really quick, like so. All right, we're it on that side. Now, with our kits, we put everything in there for you guys so you don't have to worry about what the freak do I need. All right, so one of the things we add in the kit is a surface. There's a surface that comes with your kit. So if you get the one quart kit, your surface size is going to be four feet high, and it's going to be 13 feet um, mind you, this screen right here is only is four feet high and it's about eight feet. And these screens can come in at 13 feet, so they're pretty big. Um, with the two quart kit, oh, mind you, the one quart kit's only $368. So with the, let's go back to one quart kit, it comes with a surface of four feet high, 13 feet wide. It comes with free neon lights, well, all, all kits uh, ranging up to. Um, ranging up to the one quart or to one gallon to come with these kits. So with these kits, you're gonna get the surface, you're gonna get the um, two drop cloths, you're gonna get paint tape, the rollers, replacement rollers. Uh, you're gonna get a set of free neon LED lit lights so you can light up the back of your freaking screen. Freaking awesome. You're gonna get all that cool stuff, you're gonna get the paint can opener, everything, and you get free shipping. So let's talk about surface size. The surface that you're gonna be getting with the one quart kit is gonna be four feet high and 13 feet um, long. The one with the uh, two quarts paints up to 120 to 150. The screen size with that is 75 inches high and around um, uh, 12 feet long. Uh, the big board kit, which is the big 180, the one I have upstairs, uh, that screen its surface is 9 feet high and 12 feet across. So you guys are probably thinking, why in the world is the surface so freaking long? Well, I tell you why. Because we give you the option, like say, okay, if you you can paint this on your wall, you can paint this on plexiglass, you can paint this on plywood, you can paint this on anything you freaking want. But we give you the surface because say you want to design your own form of fixed frame projection screen. And the reason why the surface is so long is because you have your choice of choosing your own ratio size. So if you buy something like Carl's or somebody else's blackout cloth, they're going to charge you extra for the ratio size. 4.3 is going to be cheaper, yes, but you want to go 235.1 arm and a leg. So we make it cheaper. So we make it so you can choose your own ratio size. Think about that. You can choose your own ratio size. Freaking sick. All right, anyway, so... um. With that being said, this is, comes with your, uh, your your kit. This is a eight-way stretchable surface. It's weatherproof. It's mildew resistant. Take it outside if you want, along with the screen paint, which is weatherproof. Also, very easy to use. You do not have to be a pro to do this. So, what do you need next? You need brackets, brackets. As I said, what's all that racket with all those brackets? Yeah, I know the joke is corny, but I love it. Anyway, so these are the different brackets you're going to be using. Okay, so. This is, it, you're, not, you're not going to use all of these. There's different ways you can use the brackets, all right? So, I'll show you the brackets right there. So, let's go over to our screen. This is the one I built a couple of days ago. This is our screen right here. You can see there's the brackets right there. We'll put them all out there so you can see the different ones. Now, this is an L shaped bracket. Uh, this is what you do to put your, your screen together. Now, you see the wood you're seeing right here? You can get this wood at Home Depot's and Lowe's, all right? It's about two to three dollars. Some, if you want the real wide ones, they have really wide ones about this wide. You want to build the frame that wide, but they're probably like six or seven. But these are about two to three dollars a piece. They're about two inches wide and probably about an inch, one inch thick. Um, you can get them cut. Now, see if you don't have the equipment to cut 
these these uh, strips. Home Depot or Lowe's will cut it for you for free. Just to let you know that right now. And the brackets, pretty much you can get those at Home Depot. They're really cheap, like three dollars or four of them. And what you do is you bracket them here. And you put the brackets here, and you repeat the same process all the way around the frame. Now, say if you don't want to put the bracket on the other side because when you stretch your material over, you don't want to leave an imprint there. Well, then there's another trick behind that. You take this bracket right here, and you stick it right in here in the corner. So that way, it does support the entire frame and this part right here. But on the other end, you don't have to put this bracket there. So that way, it doesn't leave the imprint if you don't want the imprint there. Now, these brackets right here are fantastic. If you're going to be putting middle sections in the middle of your frame to support it, because the bigger your frame is, when you actually stretch the material over and you start stapling it down, it's going to cause the screen to push inward, and that's what you don't want. So what that's going to do is you put these middle supports, like the same thing you have here, you just repeat the same process, and you just do it this way. You just put one here, here, same thing from this side to that side. That's all you have to do. Really freaking easy. Anyone can do this. It's very, very easy. As a matter of fact, in the bottom of the comment section, I have a demonstration where I built a frame. I'll show you how easy it is. All right, now staples. Staples doesn't make a difference what size you have. You don't have gigantic staples, but you know it doesn't really make a difference. Just basically, when you do this, you want to start from the end, like I have mine here. Start from the end, and you can staple. There are two ways you can staple this. You can staple it on this side, over here, so you don't see the staples here. You know, it's up to you on how you can put it here or you can put it here. It's up to you how you want to do it. So you start from here, you put the staples in, and you just pull in nice and tight. Just put my screen back around because i got to paint this in a couple of minutes. Um, you just pull in, pull down. So it's like if you're tightening a drum, you start here and you pull down. You hit it here, you hit it here. Sorry about my dirty socks. And you go along the edges and you just pull all around it so you actually get it nice and tight. It's very easy to use. I had someone, you know, email me and said, hey, look. I see that you guys ship us the, the blackout cloth for free, and when you ship it to us, um, I'm using some of it right now actually for my floor to keep it from getting jacked up with paint, which this is just leftover strips of the blackout cloth I no longer use anymore. But anyway, um, you're saying that you know you're shipping it to us for free, but you're shipping it folded. Is that gonna when I get it when I get it out of the uh, the package and I stretch it with my frame? Is it gonna leave little creases in there? No, it's not. It's not. As you can see, you can see right here. It's it's flat. And then once you paint it with the Crystal Age Technology screen paint, it looks like that it looks fantastic. So no, you don't have to worry about that. All right. So uh, different ways you can hang your frame. Now they have different hooks and brackets. I say look, they have something at a hardware store or at Home Depot that you use them to hang picture frames. It's like a sliding rail. You can get that to hang up your frame. Uh, you can put little hooks in the back. It's like hanging a picture frame. That's pretty much what you're doing. Or if you want to do a suspension screen, very easy to do. Let me come over and show you what I have here set up on mine. There's my suspension hook up right there. Over I got that at Home Depot. The loop latch, a little latch right there. Hook up right there. Very easy to do. So it's not hard to do. It's very easy to do. You know, for those of you that feel that this is going to be overwhelming, this is going to be the best project you've ever started. And I'll tell you why. You're building your own projection screen. How awesome is that? All right. So let's let's get started on this. Okay. So let's come over here, and we have the uh, Crystal H Technology screen paint already made right there. So that's a dark silver. Um, let me grab my roller. Right here, so there's my roller. So I have some people I watch on their YouTube channel and they go into these insane Pacific specifications on, hey, guess what? You have to have, let me grab my roller for this one. You have to have a certain kind of roller, you know, to give a smooth texture to the screen. And when you do this, you want to make sure you're going up and down and a robot formation. You don't want to press too heavy because you don't want to leave any kind of streaks on the surface. So just go up and down. Man, forget that nonsense. You don't have to do all that crap. Come on, really? Seriously? You're, you're painting the screen. That's pretty much what you're doing, okay? So <laughs> you don't have to be a professional to do this. See, um, usually if you're dealing with certain screen paints out there, they do streak and they do require you to do the up and down motion or whatever. You know what I mean? With ours, there's no such thing as perfect application on the roller, none of that stuff. This is all you got to do. Grab your paint, you open it up. If you got it in the can, you stir it up real well. And you just take it and you just do, 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 do. That's it. Done. I take my roller and I just roll. 
Just roll with it. Yes, I am rolling with it, people. I am rolling with it. That's it. Doesn't make a difference what direction I go in. I can go up and down. I can go in circles. Doesn't make a difference. If I get something on my screen, like say something, something lit or something falls off your clothes and hits your screen or something, or something just hits your screen, whatever, all you gotta do is take your finger, pull it out, roll right back over it, and you're done. See, is there something in your screen? Just do this. That's it. That's it. Is there something there you don't like? You can take your fingers, run it all through. Do, 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 do. And that's it. See how that? And you just roll right over it. These screens are streak proof. So you don't have to worry about streaking your screen or jacking it up or none of that. You don't have to worry about that. Very easy to do. Okay, see that? See how easy it is? Not hard. And I can let the paint sit there. Not to worry about it. You let the paint sit there, it'll leave a stain mark or whatever. Everybody wants to make it sound so complicated. You know, it's not complicated. It's very easy to do. Building the frame is easy. Applying the paint is easy. It's easy. It's made to be easy. You want a high performance screen, you don't want it to come with a headache. So you know, just take that, get some of that out of there. And I'll just pour it. <laughs> I bet you're a hundred bucks you won't watch a, a video that says, hey, this, that's not the professional way of actually applying screen paint to your screen. I know somebody's probably going to be looking at this as probably in the field of making it sound complicated. They're going to say, yeah, that screen's going to look like garbage when he turns on the projector. It's going to look like sheer garbage. Watch this. Little do you know my technology. So that's it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, the whole object of designing these screens, you know what I mean? I wanted to bring out a form of technology that was easy for everyone to use, affordable, you know. Nobody wants to go out and spend like thousands of dollars for a projection screen, you know. Why would you go out and do that? Spend all this money for a projection screen. Thousands of dollars. Like five thousand dollars. Are you kidding me? Whew. It's a lot of moolah. Alright. So, you know, it's not, it's not hard to do. It's really not hard to do. That's it. It's all done. Does it make a difference to your roller? Now, I mean, you can use smooth roller. If you want to decide you want a smoother surface, but it doesn't make a difference. So if you rent and your landlord says, hey, guess what? You can't paint your walls. Guess what? You can build your own frame if you want. If you don't want to build the frame, you can paint your pre-existing projection screen. Roll it up over and over again. Screen will not crack or peel. If you want to build a screen outside, you can. The paint is completely weatherproof. If you want to paint this on plywood, you want to paint this on glass, you want to paint this on cardboard, whatever the freak you want to paint it on, you can do that. You know what? I think I got an idea for a new YouTube channel. I'm kind of pondering with some stuff to help you guys out on how you want to design your screen. Now, it only takes one coat to do the screen. Sometimes I say two. You don't have to put two coats in it. Just go back over it. You don't have to put more paint on it. But just go back over it just to make sure you didn't miss any spots. So, that's it. We're done. Take my roller, take your rollers when you get done, stick them in a plastic bag if you're planning to use them again. You know, just put them in a plastic bag. You know, you can get a couple uses out of roller. You know, you have to paint it one time. You know, you can get a couple uses out of it. But that's it, we're done. So we'll come over here, put the lid back on. This was my wife's Tupperware, which she's going to murder me, but I'll get some more today. And that way I won't die, and you'll see me tomorrow. All right, so let's go over to my projector. As usual, those of you who watch my channel, you know what I'm going to say. This is my NEC VT595 projector, 720p, 600, 600 by 800 res, uh, 2000 lumens, about a $160 projector. We're probably about a good maybe 14 feet back from the screen. And let's do this. So we have everything up going on. Got my laptop set up over here. Remove this really quick. Come over and start this short demonstration. This is the screen I did yesterday. That's my volume so I the sound bar. There we go. Alright, come on. There we go. So, that's the finished screen right there when you're done. And I have lights on here, so my spotlights are on. My 
See this? I have my spotlight nailing my screen. And that's the smart technology game kicking in. So that allows the screen to be able to produce a beautiful picture, even one hit with a 100 watt spotlight. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? All right, so my camera's blurring there a little bit. Let me get that focus to work right. There we go. Now let's drop some of the lights in here. Take the lights out. Still have our other light on in here. Look at the screen. We'll take them all out for fun. So I have my backlight on back there, but it makes no difference. Sorry about that. I want to walk in front of the camera like that. Look how beautiful that looks. Absolutely streak proof. No streaks. You don't see any streaks in that screen, do you? Look how amazing that looks. Boom. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Put my overhead light back on. So, very easy to do. Uh, it takes no time at all. Pretty much your kids could paint the screen for you. You can paint it any formation that you want. And the screen's just gonna look fantastic. Completely streak proof. Very easy to do. So with the no time at all, I painted this screen and the screen here on the floor like a no time at all. <coughs> now this is gonna be my personal gaming screen for downstairs. I've already got a few things set up down here to start playing around with this. Walk in front of the screen real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, for my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using smart technology again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration. Now I try to give you guys as much knowledge as I possibly can uh, to help you when it comes to designing your own home theater setup. It's not hard to do. These are very easy screens to build yourself. You'd be surprised. And then when you add that with our Crystal Edge Technology Screen Paint using smart technology again, well then you have the perfect screen. So just think, you have the ability to design any screen you choose. Oh man, I got some really cool ideas set up. Okay guys, if you like, hey, if you like the video, like the video, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Please subscribe because I have a lot of cool demonstrations on designing some really cool looking projection screens that's very easy to do, very, very cost efficient. And when you add that with our Crystal Wish Technology Screen Paint, it looks absolutely freaking amazing. Hit this again with the lights out. For a minute, I'm gonna drop this light back here. Now we got it completely dark in here because I have the light in the back that's still hitting the screen. Now, mind you, the same formation that I painted this screen down here, we're just dragging the paintbrush all over the place. The screens are completely 100% streak free. Look at this. 100% streak free. Alright guys, you all have a good one out there. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I really do hope you enjoyed this video demonstration showing you exactly how easy it is to actually use our Crystal Edge Technology Screen Paints. Uh, pretty much you can design any form of projection screen you want. 
And you know, for you guys that are thinking that this is going to be overwhelming, this is going to be really hard, you see me do it myself. No time at all. Very easy to do. I'm going to bring my nephew down here. We're going to paint the screen together. I'm going to show you guys how, how easy it is. My nephew is about four. And <clears throat> bring him down here. He's going to, we're going to paint the screen. And you guys are going to freaking love that demonstration. But as you can see, you don't have to worry about all those uh, the myths that you heard about. And this demonstration you see about people saying, hey, look, you got to roll the screen this way and this way and this way. Man, you don't have to do all that crap. You really don't. It's just so easy to do. You know, with using our technology, we make it easy. We make it so you do not have to be a professional. We show you exactly how to build your screen, how to build your frame, different tricks and stuff. And man, like I said, you want to subscribe because I got some really cool demonstrations coming up and some interesting projection screens I'm going to be designing using frog tape. Okay, we're well not building the screen out of frog tape, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Our Crystal Wish Technology Screen Paint right now is available on all three of our websites. We do have free worldwide shipping uh, um, overseas. The shipping time is five to seven days. Here in the United States, it's two to three. It's already priority flat rate shipping. So you guys are all good to go. All right, you guys all have a good one.